ABNC, America's Black News Channel. Watch us on all major cable providers and major streaming platforms. Finally, news that speaks to us. Welcome back. It's Women's History Month, and we're shining a spotlight on women who are doing their thing. Um, we love this, love this segment. Our next guest is blowing mm -hmm. up on TV. She's a leading lady. Candace Maxwell is Tyler Perry's go-to actor of choice, and we just adore her. Casting her in his BET Plus series, All the Queen's Men, which has been renewed now for season two. Lots of people excited about that. She's also a leading lady in his Netflix film and dramedy, Amadea Homecoming as Ellie. You play the granddaughter. It was December 1st, 1955. But I was young and sex, I was 20 years old. So if you were 20 back then, you'd be about 95 right now? Black don't crack, <laughs> unless you're using it. <laughs> <laughs> this is, and it's doing so well, I love it. Uh, we just gotta love Medea. Uh, welcome <laughs> actress, dancer, all around talented diva, Candace Maxwell. Thank you so much for getting uh, up with us on Start Your Day. Uh, we celebrate yeah. you. We just think you're so special. You are a first-generation Caribbean-American. Um, you were raised in Queens. Then you moved to Atlanta to study acting and dancing. <laughs> and I want to know where and what inspired your love for the arts. Is it a family thing, um, parents? What got you on this path? Born into it, made to do it. Honestly, like there's there's nothing else I would rather be doing. So yeah, that's as simple as that. You know what? It, it, it's paid off for you, obviously. I, by the way, I, I love all the yes. queens, man. Eve was my girl, obviously. So Thank I love you on DJ Dime, and I got to see if the guy that you fell in love with, if he actually got shot, if he's going to come back for season two. Hopefully, oh. but we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, the dance training, though, it. that is paid off. Yes. Uh, you've been yes. a background dancer for Icon. you background for Beyonce, for Diddy, uh -huh. for Nicki uh -huh. Minaj. Uh -huh. well, what was that experience uh -huh. like dancing wow. for them? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Um, it's, it's, it's great to see mm -hmm. people who, for me, I look at as people who have started from the bottom and have literally made a way for themselves and paved a way for themselves in their field. So I, I, I look up to people like that and I feel the same way. I don't come from an entertainment background. You know, I had a family friend in Queens as a kid who reached out to my mom and was like, your daughter has this dynamic energy about her. Why not try to get her, you know, into acting and dancing and, and started going on auditions really young. So it's just a part of who I am. And I got to go on tour and see the world in my early 20s and follow wow. my dream, which I feel like a lot of people don't actually get to do. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to, to follow through with my dance dream, because I knew that it would take me to places that at the time I couldn't afford to go mm. and they felt they felt like a a dream that I couldn't even reach so it was something that I worked really hard at and I'm glad that I did that because I had the time of my life to be quite honest right, so did you uh, choreograph uh, Tyler Perry's moves at the end of uh, Medea uh, during the credits <laughs> he's doing reliving some of Beyonce's moves <laughs> from her homecoming <laughs> did you choreograph uh -huh. some of those wonderful. moves from Medea <laughs> You should have let me. It would have been popping. I mean, he did a great job. Are you kidding me? That man is fearless. But you should have let me because I would have killed the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we think you're killing it. Yeah. Mike yeah. just can't get past the fact that you were mm -hmm. dancing behind Beyonce and Nicki Minaj because he told me off camera you had the best seat in the house, if you know what I mean. You got the best view. Um, but let's pivot to the oh. acting, okay? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm sure, I, you know, that's him. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. you are mm -hmm. doing extraordinary things and you are in demand. Tyler Perry, as we mentioned, go-to oh. actor of choice, starring um, in the new Netflix film. How has working with him impacted your acting career? Because once he's invested, he's all in. Yes. Tyler is the best. It's crazy because he... Actually, the movie was a direct offer from the studio, which is such a blessing for somebody who's an actress. It's, it's wow. being an actress is, is so challenging. You're hitting wow. the pavement constantly. Think about every day being a job interview. You get a new script, you've got to audition for it, you've got to mm -hmm. put yourself on tape. So you're constantly putting yourself out there and there's not a lot of returns. So to get a direct offer was truly a blessing. It mm. blew my mind and working with him one, it feels like a stamp of approval, but aside from that, 
it's inspiring me to push mm -hmm. harder and move 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 forward yeah. in a in a way that is one creating ownership for myself creating opportunities mm -hmm. for other I'm like, others I like don't know how I'm gonna mm -hmm. do this but yes. I'm like oh I'm gonna do it because he's somebody who's a prime example of like forgetting what the naysayers have to say about you going for it loving your audience and building your platform and he's such an inspiration to me to be quite honest mm -hmm. well once again yeah. he saw what you was able to do as DJ Dime and uh, all the Queens men so <laughs> Great at acting, and I, I think you play a cop in uh, Medea's Homecoming here. Uh, and you're also yes. doing some things uh, as far as police work in a different type of way because in your free time, I understand mm -hmm. you advocate for underprivileged youth and you work with teen girls who are victims of sex trafficking. So important, uh, much needed work. Why, why do you do it? Why is that so passionate, uh, uh, such a passion for you? For me, the underprivileged youth thing is just, gr again, growing up in Queens and seeing levels of of um of poverty and you know my parents are immigrants they didn't come here with much and again they worked really hard for everything mm -hmm. that they've had and created again opportunities for me and I was blessed to go to a magnet school and have great teachers and, and mentors in my life who helped me to get to where I currently am so I only want to do the same for others and um I was on a trip mm -hmm. one time with my friends upstate New York and I I met these young women who were like, didn't have shoes, didn't have clothes. It was just a very visceral experience. And I was mm. talking to these uh. girls and they were sharing some of their experiences with me and it changed my, it, it changed my molecules. And I was like, I have mm. to use my life to help people who don't always have a voice. So that's something that's really important to me. And mm. I'm developing and working on being an advocate, but mm. philanthropy is really important because there are people yeah. who don't have opportunities they don't have voices and i'm blessed yes yeah yes. you're, yes. you're share the wealth. parents must mm -hmm. be so so proud of you they mm -hmm. must be so proud of you uh, we're proud of mm -hmm. you we're proud to support yeah, you. you and yes, we, we just want to see everything great and you will create don't even worry about Aww. how to do it you'll create and tell your boss <laughs> come see mm -hmm. us we love tyler perry too get in his ear tell him come oh, see yeah. us so we love to celebrate the movie candace thank Hello. you yes. <laughs> thank you so much join us again all the queen's men Medea's homecoming streaming now check all of it out much more